Okay, so Henry, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me today and uh, to the students at the University of Waterloo. Uh, I know what you've got to say to them will be valuable. Uh, but I thought I would begin by just asking you to tell me about yourself. Uh, you represent the Project Management Institute, Canada's Technology Triangle Chapter. Uh, so what role do you play with the chapter? And also, what do you do in your day job? First of all, thanks for having me, doctor. And thanks for the student to give us opportunity to talk to them and reach out to them. Um, I uh, work as proposal manager with a local BWXT uh, um, energy company. And I start with the uh, PM as a member since 2009. And then I achieved my PMB and RMP designations back in 2012. Um, I moved to from Saskatchewan to uh, our region in uh, 2019, and I immediately joined the chapter as the VP of certification lead the certification team. In September 21, I was elected to the board as a director of professional development. And recently, September 2023, I assume a uh, president of the, our local chapter. Very exciting and, uh, uh, and, and, and a very rapid rise. So I think you must be very good at this. Yeah, I, I, you need to ask the chapter. I'll let them answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> so for some of the people who are watching, they won't know what the Project Management Institute is. Uh, right. So I thought I would ask you to provide an introduction uh, for the students. Absolutely. The PMI, Project Management Institute in Philadelphia, the headquarters in Philadelphia, is the leading authority in the project management to advance the project management profession and empower professionals to excel in project management practices uh, through global community, knowledge sharing, best-in-class certification, and uh, best practices. Thank you. Uh, so, so why are project management skills especially important to people today? Uh, why are they, these useful skills for students to learn? Yeah, thanks for this question. And as, as a professional educator in the management, you know the whole story, but I can share the, the project management point of view about the importance of those skills. Uh, a, there is difference between a good project management and great project management. I think I, those, those are the one they need the skills to have the ability to connect the dots. It's going from being horizontal, uh, sorry, vertical to horizontal. Have lots of expertise in multiple areas and you excel in one of them. To name a few for project management managers is Number one, communication, it's a must, it's the big one. Being able to deliver a clear message and you have a variety of uh, stakeholders, you need to engage them and to communicate with them in a different levels with a different messages. So communication, it's not only very important skills, it's what the project manager will spend a lot of time doing. And the second one, for sure, is the leadership. It is, it's a crucial for the leader in the project, can motivate, inspire the action, and even govern the required action for the project. And to be able to give a timely feedback, constructive criticism to the team members and help them, inspire them to become the best version of themselves. And the third one I would like to talk about, this is from my mistakes I made as a young project manager, delegation. It is absolutely wrong to try to hold their pyramid upside down. You are holding everything. It's going to be full. It's guaranteed. You need to start building structure and be very good how uh, to trust your team, give them tasks, and start delegating. And you know... You need to step back. You are the only one allowed to step back and see the big picture while everybody busy on sh uh, her or his chunk of the picture. But you are the leader. You need to step back and 
and uh, see that big picture and take the action to step a little bit in this and then go to deal with that. This is a crucial. And the last one I would say is adaptability. You need to be agile. If, although sometimes you, some certain of industries require waterfall, the productive methodology, even then you need to be able to adapt and adapt co- quickly to the changes happening and see it should change is opportunity to grow and to deliver value. So those are the skills that I think a project manager must have before stepping in in the, the journey of project management. Very, very good, uh, and, and thank you. Uh, so why should students join the Project Management Institute, and, and how do they do that? Yeah, I think, number one, to be part of the largest PM community whenever they are show interest or um, um, passion about project management. Uh, the PMI uh, give them access to wide variety of communities in each industry under the profession of project management. They have opportunity to have free downloads for lots of practices and guidance like the PIMPOC and the best in, in, in class of uh, um, guidance for risk scheduling, uh, uh, to name a few, or even construction nowadays. And find uh, relevant jobs. BMI have a, a job portal as well. They can uh, search for certain jobs in certain areas and get notification as well. And uh, to have the... Uh, uh, volunteering opportunity as well. To the second part of the question, how they can do that? Uh, it's simple, easy access to the pmi.org website. At the top right corner, there's a register button. Once they click that, there is three options. The free one will just give them account with PMI. And this is did not give them all the benefits. The paid one, it's where they get all those list of benefits I mentioned. Uh, lucky enough, there is a third option for students, which is really, really competitor. From 129 US dollars for professional is 32 US dollars for students for annual membership. Very affordable and uh, and good value. I think the cost benefit ratio is very, very um, speak to itself. It's very high. Okay. Uh, but you run the local chapter. So can you talk about the role of local chapters uh, and why students should become involved in the activities of their local chapter? For sure. Yes, PMI have uh, just shy 300 chapters worldwide. And we are proud in, in Canada in general to have 18 and Ontario to have six chapters, six active chapters actually. And um, to the, your question why, I can start with personal example, if that's okay. I moved from Saskatchewan to the area in 2019, October 2019. No, no one in Cambridge. I know nobody. The first action I did, I went and I joined our local chapter, BMI CTT. I applied a volunteer application. I get interviewed, accepted. And by interviewed, I mean very... Uh, a friendly chat just to gauge the interest and see where I can help the most. It's not like a paid job interview where you need to be scared how to answer that. And once I, in, in I think January 2020, like three months being new to the area, I went to the leadership meeting and I walk out from that meeting. I know not only somebody, I know a community. Now I am a member of a community. They can help to find me job, to recommend me. I can meet with professionals in the same industry. Tell me, yeah, if you find any job on our uh, company portal, let me know. We can discuss it to see if you be a good fit. And now I know this community. So number one, you are not knowing no one in, in the area. You are part of professional community. There is meeting, there is social activities, and there is Lots of events. 
Also, there's the professional uh, development opportunities. You get with the theory with university or your studies. Now you need to figure out what the job market needs, what the hot cake now that everybody search and put a keyword in the job description. And this is where you can learn from people through mentorship programs, through uh, social events, or being in a study groups if you're preparing to one of the certification get discounted as a chapter member for those exam prep courses and meet with the like-minded people about what you are trying to achieve with your career path. Wonderful. And do they need to be a member of the PMI to participate in the local activities? Not necessarily. 90% uh, of our event open for members and non-members. It's worth mentioning the members discount rate. It's worth the membership because we ask students to pay five US dollars to become chapter member instead of 25 for the professionals. So if you planning to be in only one event, that's five dollars make it a win for you to just become member. And few of those events, it will be members only, but the majority of them are open to non-members. How do they find out about the events of the local chapter? Yeah, the easiest two um, ways is to visit our chapter website, which is pmi-ctt.org. And it's easy to find. We have a event calendar there. They can uh, monitor that. The second easy one, follow our LinkedIn uh, page for the PMI Canada Technology Triangle. So where we post all these events in that LinkedIn post, they can find the link to register to that event. Wonderful, uh, very helpful, and uh, uh, they know how to find you. Okay, uh, for students who are preparing for the PMP uh, or their CAPM, do you have any practical advice based on your experience and what you know of the experiences of others? Yes. As, as we know, the CAPM required no experience. So it is the go-to if you did not been in the project management field yet. For that one, you need the required uh, contact hours from BMI to have, which is you can claim some of the courses they already took at the University of Waterloo. And now the preparation for the exam, my um, advice to them is to get some quiz simulation where they get themselves familiar with type of the question because it's not straightforward uh, question. Most of them will be a uh, scenario is, is a case where they need to tackle it from project manager uh, vision, right? For PMP is a little bit more challenging because I think the exam prep materials is a big help uh, and uh, following that course they can see a better um, uh, they can acquire better understanding about how project manager can look to problems and solve them or see opportunities sometimes the three uh, the four answers is correct but the question what's the first to do and that required deeper understanding about how to deal with project management challenges. And uh, um, the other advice I have for them is a study group where they can discuss with uh, a peers. Uh, I don't get this uh, question. I don't agree if that this is the right answer, how we can discuss it. This discussion might help them to clear more than one question in the exam because it's the same mindset how to approach. It's about uh, what you do first and then go from there. And also for the PMP exam, there is a multiple uh, uh, resources, whether online or cloud subscription, to get a mock-up exam as well, to get practices. It's not a good idea to face the question the first time you take the actual test. You need to practice, put a timer, see how many questions you can solve in the same time you will be giving for the exam and repeat that. So are you well prepared 
you are not tackling all the problems together in the exam. At least you are familiar with this pressure. With the 72 seconds uh, mark, you need to quick. If you're stuck with one question, don't stay there for three minutes. Uh, deal with it, mark it, and go for it for the next. And if you get time, come back to it. Good, sensible, practical advice, and uh, uh, thank you. Uh, yes. Could you also talk about the other PMI certifications? So you've talked about the PMP and the CAPM. What are the other certifications that the PMI offers? Sure. I I would like to uh, talk about them in a, <laughs> in a different uh, categories. I would say no experience to three years of experience. There is the CAPM, the PMACP, which is uh, Agile Certified Practitioner, and the DASM, Discipline Agile Scrum Master, and the Senior Scrum Master. For instance, zero experience, you can sit the CAP exam and the DASM. You need 18 months of experience to do the DASSM, and you need a little bit more experience to apply for the ACPM. Then we have the three years plus uh, experience in project management prerequisition to take certification like PMP, which is the flagship for Project Management Institute, and the PMI PPA, which is Professional in Business Analysis, and then the Value Stream Consultant in Discipline Agile and the Agile Coach. And the last category, there is the, I would call the specialization, uh, project management uh, institute, risk management professional, which is RMP, or a portfolio manager, a program manager, schedule professional, and construction professional, or a few others in that spe specialized field. Great, thank you, and at some point, uh, some of the people watching may well be interested in those other uh, other certifications. Okay, my final question. Uh, the people who are watching this, many of them will be preparing to enter the workforce. They may have some experience, but their full-time career might not yet have started. So do you have uh, advice for people based on your own uh, experience in the workforce that you would like to impart to them? Sure. I would like to recommend them to treat their uh, dream job as a project and define the scope, the schedule. Says, I would like to be in this position in four years, whatever their dream job. And not only as employee, maybe as entrepreneur or own their own business, but treat it as a project. And reverse engineering that, look back, says, what type of skills, knowledge, and expertise I need to be a strong candidate for this job description? And start tackling as executing a plan. Put a plan, those the, in, a, in a paper or an Excel sheet, those the skills required that nobody can hire, um, let's say, CEO of this industry without, and those the expertise need to be acquired and those the knowledge area I need to be very familiar with and start acquiring those and work on this one-on-one. -on -one. If you did not find anybody to hire you in agile position, go and try to be volunteer. If you do diligence and you, you do the extra mile, somebody will notice you even in volunteering organizations says, you know what, we'd like to offer you internship or... I know a company looking for somebody with your expertise or your soft skills. Many times your soft skills is more noticeable before your skills. Because I can put you as employee uh, uh, three months in a, in, in a course, but it takes me way more than th three months to work on your positive attitude. So soft skills is the key. And while you at executing your plan, you will find yourself a very strong candidate for the position you wanted as a dream job. Great advice, uh, Henry. Uh, apply the, the project methodology to their career. Uh, I think good advice, not just at the beginning of their career, of course, uh, throughout it. 
Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me today, Henry. Uh, you provided a lot of information that's going to be valuable uh, to a lot of our students at the University of Waterloo. So thank you for doing this. Thank you so much, Dr. Brita, to have me.